morning everybody, happy Friday. It's 10.48 a.m. I have a day off today, which is awesome. I haven't done an accountability, I, oh, can I say this word? I haven't done an accountability vlog in a really long time since like before I went away, which is terrible. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things now. This week has been kind of really boring, so I haven't bothered to vlog anything because I've not really been doing anything. But I figured today's Friday, I've got a full day off, then it's Saturday, Sunday, and then we can get back into the swing of things come Monday. So, so far this morning, I have been out to the shops. I went, well, I went food shopping. That's pretty much all I did. And then now I've come home and I'm sitting on my couch because uh, Kelsey Ballerini's new album came out today and I desperately need to listen to that. And I'm so excited because I'm going to be able to listen to it like just sitting here. You know, not having to worry about it being on a crappy speaker, not having to do anything else while I'm listening to it. I get to just sit and listen to the new Kelsey Ballerini album. I'm so freaking excited. And then the rest of the day is just going to be exporting, uploading, because that's what I'm up to. And I'll also be working on the Google Sheet for my trip. Not going to be the most exciting day, but I'm hopeful that I can finish exporting everything today, because the uploading part doesn't really matter. But the exporting, if I can get everything exported today, that means I can officially start editing again. And I'm actually really looking forward to that. So here's hoping we can make it happen. It's so good! Ah. Hello, I just think you need to know that that album is a straight up masterpiece. It's so good! There's so many moments in it where I was like, I can't believe she said that. You know, like she, oh, oh, touched on her relationship with Morgan that is now ended in divorce. I didn't even realize her and Halsey had beef, but her and Halsey apparently have beef. And she, there was a song about Marilyn Monroe, but it was actually like, from what I could understand from the lyrics, it was like a thinly veiled, like, it wasn't that thinly, but she was basically like, was it worth it? Cause if she's like, was it worth it for me? And there was a song about like 2020, the COVID year. And I'm like, it's so good. That album was just incredible and so good and amazing and fantastic. And I 100% listened to it while drinking a raspberry sparkling water out of a wine glass because Kelsey is like my wine mum. I don't drink wine, but if I did, she would be like my wine mum. She's amazing and all she does is, she doesn't only drink wine, but wine is a big part of her songs. And so I felt like it was necessary for a subject change listening party to have a wine glass, even if there wasn't wine in it. But oh my goodness, I wanted it to be good and it was better than I expected. So I'm going to listen to subject to change now on repeat until October 21st when Taylor Swift's new album comes out. Until then, it's just Kelsey. All day. All day, every day. Kelsey Ballerini. We stand. Hello. I feel like it's gonna take me a minute to remember to vlog. 7.10. I have done so much exporting and uploading. I was even able to start editing. I got quite a bit of entries done on the, like, my Google Sheet for my trip. I worked on my puzzle. And now it's, yeah, 7.10, so I'm about to start cooking dinner. I'm cooking delicate korma curry. I'm very looking, I'm very much looking forward to it. Normally I cook a lot earlier than this, but I just was not hungry. So I'm still not really hungry, but I need to eat. So, you know, I have mini naan bread and pop dumps to go with it. So, yay. Plan for the rest of the evening though, so I'm just gonna keep going. because I feel like I'm really on a roll with editing and I am officially still 13 months behind. So I really wanna like, you know, get up to date, but I'm watching, you guys wouldn't know this. I can't show you probably cause it's on charge. Okay, well. I'm watching Supernatural again. From the beginning, I have only watched up to the end of season 10. I think the last episode I watched was episode four of season 11. And I only remember that because it was the episode that's entirely set inside the Impala, like from the Impala's point of view, which is the car. <laughs> so I remember where I was up to, um, but I'm rewatching from the beginning and oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm on the Supernatural bad again, but let's cook some korma. Looking forward to it. Hello, I made curry. I don't know if it's gonna be any good. This is it. Ta -da. I don't know if it's gonna be any tasty. It's literally just out of a packet. I'm sure it's fine. The rice bothers me. I use my dad's method and theoretically it should work, but it doesn't. It's so watery and I, oh, I gotta fix it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'll have to ask him again tomorrow night, Sunday night. When am I going around? But anyway, curry, yay. Do we think it's gonna taste good? Do we think the chicken's cooked? Does anyone else cook chicken and then like stress that it's not cooked? It's cooked and it's really tasty. <laughs> Hello, it's almost 11.30, I'm about to head to bed. I wanted to show you this. I wanted to show you how much work I got done today because I'm feeling really good about myself. 
So the ones in orange are the ones that I did throughout the week and the ones in yellow are the ones I did today. Yay, look at that. Oh my goodness. So I uploaded 10 videos. I exported 11 videos and I edited five videos today. Considering I have basically done nothing for the last two weeks, I'm feeling real good about this. Of course, I'm not gonna be finished in time to not have a break between the July VODs and the August VODs, but that's fine, you know, it's totally fine. I'm feeling really good. I've watched a lot of Supernatural, so I'm feeling great about that. And now I'm gonna head to bed to read, uh, what am I reading? I'm reading the new Karen and McManus book, Nothing More to Tell. I'm not enjoying it as much as previous ones, but I think my favorite of hers is still The Cousins, very closely followed by You'll Be the Death of Me, but I am enjoying this one. I cannot for life me figure out what's going on. Everybody is shady. There's not a single character who's not shady. It's a great time. And tomorrow, I there's no kittens to go look at, so I'm not going to look at kittens tomorrow. So instead, I'm going to go to the cinema and I'm going to watch the re-release of Avatar because Avatar is one of my favorite movies. It's like easy top 10, possibly even top three favorite movie of all time. So going back to the cinema to watch Avatar again, and I actually think it might even be the extended version and the extended version is so much better than the normal version. And I don't own the extended version and the extended version it's not on Disney Plus, or actually none of it's on Disney Plus at the moment, because Disney was like, you know what, let's get more money, let's take it off Disney Plus and put it back in the cinema, and people like me are like, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. It's terrible. I'm doing it anyway. And then I've got writing sprints tomorrow night with the BWC girls. It's gonna be a great time. Can't wait. I haven't written anything in like four weeks, so that's fun. But for now, I'm gonna grab a glass of water. Not for any particular reason, just I'm gonna grab a glass of water. And I'm gonna go to bed and it's been a really good day. <laughs> Yay! Hello everybody, happy Saturday. I really need to buy myself a new little table tripod for this camera, but anyway, so it's almost midday. I did sleep in, which I'm not altogether that surprised by because I have been incredibly tired this week and I think my body just needed like a catch up. So I'm up now, I'm about to head to the cinema. It's 12 o'clock. <laughs> I'm about to head to the cinema to watch Avatar. It's not the extended version, but it's fine. I'm still stupidly excited about it. Literally, it's probably one of my top three favorite films of all time. So I'm, I'm so excited to see it again in the cinema. I'm also not seeing it in 3D because screw 3D. I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I've just set a video to upload. I don't think I have anything ready for exporting though, but I'm going to check that in a minute. And when I get back though, we'll be editing and exporting to my heart's content until 7.30 tonight, which is when the writing sprints are going to be. I think I'm going to have a fun day. I'm, I'm pretty keen. I'm not going to lie. Obviously. And I can't even wait to get home to tell you this. Okay, so I told you I went to see the Avatar re release in cinemas, and I was just expecting it to be like the movie. <laughs> in the cinema and it was and it was incredible like it was so 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 good but we got to a moment right at the end of the movie where like I've seen the original so 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 many times but I've only seen the extended version once so I just messaged a friend who's seen it and I was like was this in the extended version because I swear blind it is not in the original and it's this like little little mini like one line from Parker and I was sitting there and I was like holy shit like that's new I haven't seen that before and then the credits started and like I said I've seen this movie like a thousand times so the credits started but not I see you like the Leon Lewis song and I was like this is weird like this is this isn't right like there's supposed to be that song playing right now like what the fuck is happening and then the screen went blank and it was like and now for a special look and I was like holy shit holy shit we're gonna see a scene from Avatar 2 we're gonna see a scene from Avatar 2 and we saw a scene from Avatar 2 and it looks so fucking incredible oh I'm so excited for this movie you guys you don't understand you just people don't understand when I tell them that Avatar is one of my like top 10 possibly top three films of all time like I freaking love everything about it it's oh, it's one of my favorite movies so when I tell you I am excited for Avatar 2 know that I mean I mean you can hear it in my voice right I'm so excited I am so excited for Avatar 2 it is not even funny so to see that and it oh something just fell on my car concerned but to see like that as it was was just oh my god it was a bird that fell on my car the scene was incredible it looks just 
out of this world the new movie it looks out of this world incredible i know that it took so long because they had to wait for the technology to catch up because they had to develop this technology to do mocap underwater which has never been done before and it looks so good i can't i can't i can't i can't i'm so excited i'm so excited i'm so excited <laughs> Hola, it's five o'clock, I assume. Actually, I didn't check the time. It's five o'clock, I just got home. I went to the shops after the movie. By the way, it's been an hour and I still cannot stop thinking about that sneak peek. So love that, love that for me. I'm gonna be thinking about it forever. But I bought things. I bought a table tripod for this camera because I'm sick of holding it. I bought a clear pencil case for d and I bought other D&D things. So I got this notebook. So I'm playing a human rogue and I felt like this notebook, it's got like a really nice finish. Did I need a new notebook? No, I have a thousand, but you know me, I'm a writer, it's what we do. And it's just, yeah, really pretty. So I bought that. I own two sets of dice and neither of them I bought myself. Every set of dice I currently own, somebody else has bought for me. So I finally decided I wanted to buy my own dice set, so I did, so I bought these. They're Witcher dice, they're the Geralt monster set, and aren't they so gorgeous? Can you see them? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna be rolling like shit with these dice, because I roll like shit regardless, but I'm so excited to do it. And I bought a, um, dice mat as well because I didn't have one and I wanted one so so that's me that's been my day so I'm gonna sit and edit now which I'm really excited about and then 7 30 tonight it's writing time do I think I'm gonna be any good at writing tonight no am I gonna do it anyway yes what is going on here I, I just can't concentrate on anything past that avatar I just can't I also really want to get the collector's edition, which has got the collector's extended cut, because I really want to rewatch the collector's extended cut. Also, I figured out, I was looking at the collector's extended cut today. I couldn't buy it because they don't have it in store. You have to order it, so I have to go and special order it. There are actually three versions of Avatar that were released. There was the original theatrical version. There was the extended theatrical version, which I'm pretty sure is the version that I just saw in cinemas, which was the extended one, which is why it had that additional little scene with Parker that I wasn't expecting. And then the third version is the collector's extended edition, which is basically the director's cut, which has a bunch of additional scenes, um, including one at the beginning. There's a scene with Grace in the school, not at the school, but like she talks about the school. And then there's another scene where I believe the Navi attack something to do with the humans. And that's why the humans then retaliate and like destroy their sacred site, which is what prompts the like, which is what prompts Jake to like hit off the thing. It's just what prompts everything, you know, like cautious, like we have to hit home train, all that sort of stuff. So all of that, the, the film, it feel, the film makes sense as is like in the theatrical cut, but it definitely makes more sense when you watch the extended cut, which I really want to rewatch now, but I can't cause I don't own it. I really shouldn't spend any more money, but I think I'm going to order that like special order that because I want it. I want it so bad. I'm surprised that I don't already own it to be fair. I literally only own the original version that came out. So I need to get the collector's version, but First and foremost, we're gonna go and edit and see what else we can get done today. She tucked me in that angels are watching over us. So I'm not sold on the tripod if I'm being perfectly honest, but it's all we've got. So I'm setting up the stream at the moment. It's not normal stream, it's what do you call it stream? writing sprint stream so I need to go get all my writing shit I don't have a lot to say I've done a bit of editing but then some stuff screwed up so I'm waiting on that but yeah that's gonna be today I'm gonna be sitting here writing do you like my badger I love my badger but yeah that's that's gonna be the whole thing is sitting here and doing that so we'll probably only go for a couple hours and then I might I really should go to bed early because I need to stream tomorrow morning before I go out for lunch with Emily so we'll see we'll see what happens I don't know I really don't, but I'm gonna go grab a drink bottle, I'm gonna go grab my writing stuff, and maybe even a blanket, because I'm a little bit chilly, and then we're just gonna sit here and wait for Cat and Cat. It's gonna be a great time. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. It's 9.20ish am. I'm going live on Twitch to do a completionist stream. We're going to be stopping a little bit early. We're going to be stopping just before midday because I have a lunch at 12.30 down at the Magic Cafe, which should be a lot of fun. I'm really, really looking forward to it. And yeah, that's that's going to be this morning. I did not sleep well at all last night. I didn't fall asleep until like 12.30, so I am seriously seriously slipping uh, so I desperately need to get my sleep schedule back on track Ooh, which is always a bit scary but I'm 
working on it. I finished a book last night. I finished Nothing More to Tell by Karen and McManus. I gotta admit, not my favourite of her books. I definitely still preferred The Cousins and You'll Be the Death of Me more. I did enjoy Nothing More to Tell but it was not like on par with the rest of her books in my opinion. So next up is either going to be American Gods or Leia Princess of Alderaan depending on how thick of a book I feel like picking up tonight. <laughs> but I'm gonna hit the I'm live button. I'm gonna play some LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2, which is the worst LEGO game I think I've ever played in my life, but it's fine. And let's see how much progress we can make this morning. Hello. It's 11.42 p.m. It's past bedtime, so I need to get going, but I really wanted to get this finished, so I don't remember if I actually updated you at all today, but today was Sunday. I streamed this morning, then I went went out for lunch with Emily, it was a three hour lunch. And then I have been editing, uploading and exporting videos ever since. Um, and I got a ridiculous amount of stuff done today. So I managed to upload four videos today. I exported three and I managed to edit, uh, let's have a look. I edited 11 videos, okay? So for the entire week, for the entire week, I uploaded 22 videos, exported 25, and edited 19. What? <laughs> Who even am I? So I still have another 17 videos left for August 2021 for editing. And then it's just going to be a massive exporting and uploading. But then the August vods will be done and I'll own, and I will be somehow, I will be back to 12, well, I'll still probably be 13 months behind, but September has a lot less videos. So August 2021 has 72 videos, which is why it's taking so long. And then September drops back down to 54, October down again to 44, and then November actually only has 13. So I'm kind of hoping if I can keep this like momentum up, this momentum going, I can start to actually like catch up a little bit and I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to being able to catch up a bit and do other things. So <sighs> how amazing. So I'm going to quickly go and get my lunch ready for work tomorrow. And then I'm going to pick the book that I have to read next. Uh, I haven't quite decided what I want to read. So I don't really know what I'm going to do about that, but that's the plan. So thank you all so much for hanging out this week. I, well, this week I only started the vlog, what, Friday? I'm really glad that I'm getting back into accountability vlogs. They're definitely, they definitely help. They help me to stay accountable and whatnot. And that and having Supernatural to watch has been like A plus at the moment. So I'm really, really happy about that. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comment section below what you got done this weekend because I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye.